everyone, my name is Natalia and before we begin, I'm going to apologize for bringing away for so long. I've been renovating my mother's house and I've been so tired each and every day I've come home that I just couldn't find the energy to do some DIYing. And I've been renovating my mother's house for two months now and I can really feel the exhaustion and just tiredness and just ugh in my body because it's finally coming to an end so I'm just uh, I'm really over it. Anyways, <laughs> today I'm going to show you how to make a magical coin box like this one here and this is of course inspired by the beauty and the beast because the beast of course has a beautiful rose in a container uh, like this one here but it might be a little bit more magical than this one but it still looks amazing and you can put some coins in the top and the coins will end up behind the rose as, oh, as you can tell <laughs> And it looks like a whole rose in here, doesn't it? But this is actually only a half a rose. Magical, isn't it? And even if you don't want to use flowers or roses like this one, you can just take a figurine and then cut it in half and then insert it in the magical box to make it look like a whole figurine. So if you want to see some more of these kind of DIYs in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see how this is made, stick around and let's just get started. Now take your box and your ruler and then measure inwards one centimeter and do this on each side and then make a mark. Now make lines from these markings to connect them and to create a square in the middle which is the one that you need to cut off with your box cutter. Then paint your box. And if your box is as dark as mine is, use white as the base color to make the second color pop even more. Then leave it to dry. Then take your fake rose because we need to cut it in half and you can either use a scissor or a box cutter to do so. We need to cut it in half because right now it looks like two roses in the mirror. It only has to be one. So cut it in half either with the scissor or the box cutter. You might run into this plastic structure in the middle of the rose, but just cut that in half as well. Now before dividing the whole flower in two, put some glue in between the rose petals to prevent it from disassembling. Now I need to attach the half rose onto the mirror, but clean it before doing so. So put some glue around the edges of the half rose and then attach it to the mirror. Now take your acetate and then place it on the side with a cutout and then draw around it and then cut this little square out, put some glue on the corners and then place it inside the box and then press hard on the corners to make it stick. Now to the sheet of holographic paper, it should have the measurements of the side, the bottom and the other side of the box. Then put some glue on this long piece of paper and then place it inside the box and press down to make it stick properly. Now one of the last things we need to do is to place the mirror in the box. And the mirror needs to be the same measurements as the box, but diagonally. So we need to place the mirror like this in the box. So gently push the mirror with the rose into the box. The last thing we need to do is to make a coin slot on the lid of the box. And if these side flaps are a little bit too wide, just cut some of it off. Then take your ruler and then from the edge of these side flaps, make a line upwards onto the lid. Then use your ruler to find the middle on the lid, then make a mark and then make a line. Then use your box cutter to cut this line out and make an opening. Then your magical coin box is done! Now put in all your coins and save for a trip to visit Belle. 
I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, give this video a like, it helps me out a lot. And let me know down below if you're going to make this magical coin box and are you going to put a rose in it or something else. And if you want to see the upcoming videos here on this channel, you need to subscribe and be a part of our lovely DIY family here and the Bluetooth box. So subscribe and I will see you soon with more ideas. Bye!